It doesn't matter if your job is delivering packages, robbing a gas station, running from the police, or being an electrician or plumber and having to travel with lots of goods, the Splintrex Max can help you drive from A to B with all of your, or someone else's, belongings in one place. With a lot of cargo space, 150 horsepower, and all for a revolutionary price of 16500 you can get them at most Splintrex dealers because, trust me, this van is a very good deal. Hey there, so today we're going to be making a vehicle for the company Splintrek. We're going to be devising a lovely, cheap and affordable van for the people to drive in. And uh, this has to be a lovely and relatively cheap van, so we're going to be doing this. Or actually, sure. So as this is going to be a rather cheapish sort of van, the the general rule of thumb is gonna be that uh well we're gonna be trying to make it actually decent so we're talking the only reason why i'm putting coils in the front and back for now is because it's a van and it needs a lot of capacity so we're gonna be doing a bit of a different engine than i'm used to and we're gonna be putting in actually a three liter in line four the reason why we're doing this is so that we don't really need horsepower in our little van. What we need in our van is torque. So I'm just gonna do what I roughly think we're gonna need. Maybe, uh, definitely we're gonna have to lower the cam profile because we aren't aiming for a high revving turbo van. Then, you know, some cost saving measures because, uh... Again, we aren't aiming for that ultra-high level performance, we're aiming for a van and tubular out the back, and let's actually make it pretty decent. Oh! Well, by golly, ooh, baby, that's- now this is almost exactly what I wanted. <laughs> How cool! So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna be- I'm gonna aim for about 100 and- 35 horsepower and uh, while I'm gonna be aiming for that uh, I'm also gonna be aiming for a semi-fine uh, fuel economy because of course I am so whoop, wait a minute yeah I can't go any higher hey no we can cheat there we go so I'm not going to be spending too much time on my engine, uh, because we already have a lovely engine. Let me just make sure that uh, the engine isn't being throttled with anything. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this is the best we can get, and uh, let's hear the engine roar. Oh yeah. The engine isn't actually going to sound a lot, because... This is a high- this is a highbrow van. It might not be made out of the most expensive materials. But this van is going to be remarkable. This also needs to be easily mass-produced, so, uh... Yeah. I'm just gonna be doing the basic, you know, the basic stuff that you would expect in a car. You open up the hood, look, there's the engine. Lovely. We could probably even move it a bit forwards. Doesn't really matter now. So, uh, moving on, you know, medium compound generic tires. And sure, pistons in the front and the back for now. We don't really need a skid tray. Just standard, standard stuff because this is a standard van, just normal hydraulic power steering, ABS, standard safety, and for the actual springs, let's actually, we want people to actually be comfortable, so there we go, and oh look, heavy delivery, that's nice. Our fuel economy is nice for a heavy vehicle, our material costs are sort of expensive, so take a look here, uh, ooh, I would like to bring that cost a bit down. And, uh, how are we gonna do that? If we, uh, well, if we do this, everyone hates us. So, sure, only two seats, even though I specifically remember a Volkswagen van, which had three seats in the front, but okay. 
Uh, so as you see, this is not really a pony or a pony budget, or a city budget, it's a uh, slightly utility and it's a delivery vehicle. So I, I think we should focus on making this. Now, the company this is, the company that's actually making this is uh, Splintrack. And Splintrack, as a company, really l wants to have a car business, but they also aren't really the kind of company that's gonna, you know, uh, sell a lot of different cars. Splintrack really just wants to make a few car models and sell them, Color is going to be just a single one, so there we go, that's a nice silverish color. Because hey, Splintrek knows that you, if you're buying Splintrek, you're here for the you're here for the car quality. You're not here for the fancy bits and bobs that would come on a different kind of car. So, for that, uh, we're extending a bit the car over there, and as you can see, it's a nice van. Now with the door handles, uh, basically the guys over at Splintrek have decided to uh, go the route of, you know, having stuff be useful. So they're gonna just do this. So moving on, uh, we do continue the car thingy, so, uh, hmm. What kind of lights should I use? So you know when I was talking about making this a bit generic? Cause like, this is gonna be a van. Okay, no. Uh, sure, I'll do that, and uh, then on the bottom, I'll uh... Cause if you have this on the top, what more do I need? I would need something just like this on the top. Uh, I'll just slap it in between these here. Where's the S? Yes. Okay, geez, this is gonna be fun. And so, there's where the very generic name of Splintrek came in to save the day. So, this is uh, gonna be called the Max because it's big. So, if I do. Wait, no, 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 no. 90 degrees, and I keep turning these around like that. Uh huh. Yeah, I'd say this is actually kind of fine. We also need some kind of front fog lights, because of course we do. Yeah, these ones would look relatively decent. As weird as that sounds. And here we need to uh, devise their little logo. No, I prefer it if it's a bit larger. There we go. No, that's a bit too big, so yeah. And then to make it look, uh, you know, to give it a bit of repetition, then uh, down here I'll add like, yeah, that looks decent. And uh, yeah, that's decent. All I would want to do is I would want to make the wheels a little larger. Maybe like that. Like that sure. So like, cause you want a bit larger wheels cause this is a truck and also uh, you want to make the wheels a bit, you know, wider. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is a decent car and for this much money, you can get yourself this lovely car. There we go. Uh, so over here, let me add like, what, what a good van mirrors. Like, yeah. Maybe these ones, but these ones are a bit too big for my liking. Uh, I'll just like add stock, decently large mirrors. So yeah, let's export it now that it actually has mirrors that uh, do break up the design a little, but they're fine. So yeah, it's time to export the car into BeamNG and see the wonderful thing that we've created. Or I, I, at the very least, I hope it's going to be wonderful. Probably not. Uh, and here we are with our lovely car. But I know what you all might be asking, and it's uh, how well does it actually perform? I, and I think it's about time that uh, we actually see that. So uh, with the little completely white for some reason engine inside, I think it's time to start driving. There were a few issues which I have solved, so look, it accelerates, 
So the car can go like 150 kilometers per hour or whatever without problems. And when we hit 150 kilometers per hour, because th these are normal highway speeds, right? At least here, there's like as fast as you could go. How fast can you actually stop in a van? Um, and I'll actually make this stopping point uh, when we switch from this to this color of the pavement. So there we go, we are slowing down, we are slowing down, and... Well, uh, if this is a highway, we can actually slow down at a reasonable sort of speed. Now, uh, in... So, uh, as, uh, this is a van, this should be doing some van things. Like driving in the city, and being used for criminals to steal money. We're gonna be trying to drive at a decent, too fast speed. Yeah, so you slow down, you turn around the corner. You're driving around. So let me see how decent this is to actually drive. Yeah, how big is it turning circle? So let's say I just want to pull a 180 here. So we come to here and then... What is... Can we pull a 180? No, we would have to reverse. And not do that, even though I'm very inclined to do that. Uh, oh shit, is that a police car? Run, we've just stolen a lot of money. And look, it's the second police car and it wants to stop me from stealing the money. Well, you aren't gonna stop me today, policeman. Cause I have a... I have the latest Splintrek Max. I hope the West Coast Police doesn't sue me for doing this promotion today. So, running away from the police? Very easy when you have your new and improved Splintrek Max. It's very easy to get away from the police because you have the new Splintrex van or the new and improved 3 litre inline 4 engine putting out 135 horsepower and a whole lot of torque with enough storage space inside for you to hold all of your valuable stolen goods. And to top it off, large and very smooth doors allow easy opening and closing and the suspension allows you to even do some light off-roading if you are worried that the police will catch you on road. Also, yeah, you can drift with the van if you're skilled, which I'm not. Okay, so uh, we can clearly see that this is a more than decent enough van for normal van things, but how is it actually when you race? So I think it's time to test it here. So are you ready? Are you ready? And go! We're heading gear, first gear, second gear, third gear already. That's pretty decent for this van. If it was a hill climb car, I would already be hitting my top speed of like two meters per second. Uh, meanwhile, uh, so the Splint Trex Max really is showing its worth because hey, look, it's. Decent at going. Oh my god, Van Griffin, come on. My god. That's some tire squeal. This reminds me of the time that, uh, I think even here you could have some guy driving a Porsche in the Spolin Tracks Max with its 135 horsepower and 200 and whatever torque, 235 torque, uh, can actually. New to music torque can actually pass it with record speed for a van. And not only that, but look! We're actually accelerating at a semi-decent pace. And with this car's brand new 3-liter three 3-liter three inline-4 engine, it's remarkably fast. Which is incredible for a van. And, uh... Yeah. I'm not gonna test like uh, another thing. I'm not gonna test a lot of these like uh, on-road cars off-road because there is an off-road track here, and I am gonna let the cars cut through a bit of corners here because this isn't like a general sort of test. It's just how well they compare. Anyhow, uh, moving on. The general plan of these cars is that uh, 
Now I'm going to be building a story and why certain co companies here want to make a certain type of car. And we're going to pass the finish line at uh, about 2 minutes 48. So that's nice. Really nice. So yeah, I honestly think this is a remarkably decent car for what it is and I do think uh, I made a pretty fun car today. Especially in comparison to the shit I usually make, like the fucking Karen Commando. H have you seen? Have you seen how it looks? I'm not gonna even spawn it in, just like... Jesus Christ. No, you haven't seen it, of course, but it... Trust me, it's atrocious. I might have broken the car right now, but, uh... Yeah. That's gonna be it. Look, the new... Splintrex Max! Even drives with only one wheel on the front. See you later, guys. Uh, bye bye. I'll see ya. And I. Sally doesn't drive out both of the front wheels. That. That. That breaks it. Sadly. Yeah. <laughs> see ya. <laughs>